Welcome back. This is my third rant of the day. If you hear any music in the background, you can ignore it if you want to. I'm not done jamming Tupac yet. Tupac Day is not over over here until 12 midnight. So, I've already did a rant celebrating 24 years of the Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die album. And I did another rant remembering Tupac 22 years later. Now, my third rant is going to be about this Saturday morning cartoon block, and some of you may be familiar with this block. Disney's One Saturday Morning. Today marks 21 years that the block premiered on ABC. And this has to be my favorite Saturday morning cartoon block out of this, Fox Kids and Kids WB. Even though the block ran for five years from 1997 to 2002, like the WWF Attitude Era, it still had a lot of great shows on that block. And Disney's One Saturday Morning was a block that I used to watch every Saturday morning when I was a kid. 1991 to 1997, so six years after I was born, I got addicted to the Saturday morning cartoon block. I was six years old in the first grade when this block premiered on ABC. And Disney's One Saturday Morning was a little different from Fox Kids and Kids WB. It had buildings to represent the days, catchy music that would make you look forward to, quote, the five hours of summer, once a week, only one Saturday morning. Disney's One Saturday Morning was so popular that two years later, UPN came out with a block a spin-off block to Disney's One Saturday Morning, and they named it Disney's One Two, that aired weekday mornings, weekday afternoons, and Sunday mornings. So in honor of Disney's One Saturday Morning's 21st anniversary, I'm gonna be going over my top five favorite shows that aired on Disney's One Saturday Morning. I know I should have done this last year in honor of its 20th anniversary, but I didn't think I was ready to do YouTube videos yet. So, that's the name of this rant. My top five Disney's One Saturday Morning Shows. So, without wasting any more time, because I got home from work three hours ago, or two hours ago, excuse me, it's now 11 o'clock Houston time. So, let's get right into it. Number five, Sabrina the Animated Series. Wow, what can I say about Sabrina the Animated Series? This was an anim animated version of the live action Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Too bad the show only ran for like one season with 65 episodes. And I like how they got Melissa Joan Hart's younger sister, Emily Hart, voicing Sabrina, while Melissa voiced Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda. Yeah, did you know that one of the aunts was named after the character Zelda? If you didn't know. Kind of ironic, isn't it? But yeah, Sabrina's the animated series is one of my favorite shows, part of Disney's One Saturday Morning. It is actually a great show. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Sabrina the Animated Series is one of my favorites, even though it only ran for like one season. The series, three years later, has spun off into Sabrina's Secret Life. No, not three years. I think four years that it had a spin-off series called Sabrina's Secret Life, but I don't think I'm going to talk about that show. But yeah, I like Sabrina the Animated Series. It's a great show. Number four, Lloyd in Space. This show was created by the same guys who made Recess. And Lloyd in Space is definitely underrated. It's definitely one of the most underrated cartoons that I've ever seen. 
what I like about Lloyd in Space is it had a lot of great voice actors. Especially the one. It had a lot of great voice actors. Like, um, Corlett Mead, who voiced Lloyd, is the same guy who voiced Gus Griswold on Recess and who played Uh Huh on The Little Rascals. The guy who voiced one of Lloyd's friends, Kurt, is the same voice actor who voiced Patrick on Spongebob. The voice actress, Pamela Hayden, who voiced Douglas, is the same voice actress who voiced Milhouse on The Simpsons. And the guy that did the voice of Eddie did the voice of Harold from Hey Arnold and Gelman from Recess. The one character that I could not stand on Lloyd in Space, even when I was younger, was Lloyd's little bratty sister, Francine. I really, I never liked Francine when I was young watching Lloyd in Space. And even now I still don't like her because I hate how she always uh, read Lloyd's mind and try to snitch on him. Oh my God, I could not stand Francine. But yeah, Lloyd in Space, super underrated. It never got the recognition it deserved. And I believe Lloyd in Space should have came out with a movie. Number three, Pepper Ann. Man, Pepper Ann was one of the most funniest cartoons I've ever seen. Especially, I like that episode where uh, Pepper Ann's mom was doing stand-up comedy. That was really funny. But yeah, Pepper Ann, just like the theme song said, what's that girl, what's her name, is she cool, is she lame? Oh, you talking about what's her name? Pepper Ann, is she lame? Is she... Oh my God, the theme song was pretty catchy too. Is she lame, is she cool, is she breaking every rule, is she everybody's fool? Pepper Ann. Man, Pepper Ann was one of the most funniest cartoons I've ever seen in my entire life. It definitely had a lot of great jokes that I didn't understand back when I was younger that I understand now. So if Pepper Ann is the your top three favorite Disney's one Saturday morning shows, let me know in the comments below because this was one of those shows that came out the same day Disney's one Saturday morning premiered along with Doug and Recess. And they should definitely put Pepper Ann on DVD. I don't know why Pepper Ann is not out on DVD. I have not seen that show in years. But hopefully one day they'll put it on DVD. All right. Number two on my list. Now, this show could have been number one because it was the most popular out of all the shows that aired on Disney's one Saturday morning. I should have put the show as number one, but I decided to put it as number two. And I think I just mentioned this show when I was talking about Lloyd in Space and Pepper Ann. Recess. And you can't have a favorite Disney's one Saturday morning show list without Recess. Man, Recess pretty much reminds me of the days where I used to uh, play, be on the playground every year, every day during recess with my friends at elementary school. I definitely like the characters in the show. My favorite characters of the show has to be uh, TJ in the gang. TJ, of course, is the leader of the group who is voiced by Andrew Lawrence, the younger brother of Joey Lawrence. Spinelli is the tomboy of the group. And she loves to beat people, try to beat people up whenever they get on her nerves. She's voiced by Pamela Adlin, the voice of Bobby Hill on King of the Hill. Gretchen Gruntler, who's the smart Alec or the smart ass in the group, voiced by Ashley Johnson. Ricky Deshaun Collins, voice of Vince LaSalle, who likes to play sports. I definitely like Vince. He's one of my favorite characters next to TJ. Mikey Blumberg, he's big, he's peaceful, and he has a singing voice 
done by the late Robert Goulet. His speaking voice is done by Jason Davis. And I mentioned this character when I was talking about Lloyd in Space. Gus Griswold. He has a dad who works in the military. He's voiced by Corlett Mead, who later on to went to voice Lloyd Nebulon on Lloyd in Space. We also have other characters on the show, such as the Ashleys, known for their, oh my God, known for their catchphrase, scandalous. <sighs> who else? Randall. I cannot stand Randall. He's, oh my God, I cannot stand Randall. He used to always snitch on TJ in the game. Uh, King Bob, who's the king of the playground, the kindergartners, and many more characters on recess. Oh, Gelman, who was introduced in Gus's Last Stand, who would always pick on Gus every single day during recess. But yeah, the reason why recess was so popular because it had its own uh, movie, Recess Schools Out, which is one of my favorite movies. And it also had two direct-to-DVD movies, uh, Recess All Grown Down and Recess Taken to Fifth Grade. When Recess was canceled, I said to myself, as TJ would say, this womps, or in other words, this sucks. Bottom line, Recess was my shit back in the day. Recess was the best. All right, here's my number one favorite show that aired on Disney's one Saturday morning on ABC. This show pretty much have fallen to the footsteps of recess in my opinion. Number one, The Weekenders. Yes, The Weekenders is my favorite show part of Disney's one Saturday morning. What can I say about The Weekenders? It's underrated and it pretty much reminds me of Recess. You have, oh my God. This pretty much, this show pretty much reminds me of me hanging out with three friends every single weekend. You have the leader of the group, Tino, the athletic tomboy, Lore, the smart girl of the group, Tish, and the cosmetic Carver. And they spend a lot of time, you know, like playing video games and eating pizza. And of course they had funny man, let's make a deal host, Wayne Brady singing the theme song. But yeah, The Weekenders was a definitely funny show. I'm so glad that it's out on DVD. So if you haven't got um, The Weekenders DVD box set, you need to get it. I definitely need to get it too. I'm so glad I put The Weekenders as number one because it's definitely my favorite Disney's one Saturday morning show of all time. It's definitely underrated. It did not get the recognition it deserved. It had a lot of great voice actors in that show too. Jason Marston voiced Tino, who also voiced uh, Richie Foley and Gear on Static Shock. Phil Lamar voiced Carver, who also voiced Virgil and Static on Static Shock. Great allowed Griffin voice Lord and Cat Susie, who voiced Phil and Lil and their mom Betty on Rugrats, voice Tish. So this video, I know it's about to go to 15 minutes, but that wraps up my top five Disney's one Saturday morning shows. I thought I'd do this to celebrate Disney's one Saturday morning's 21st anniversary. I know I should have done this last year to celebrate his uh, 20th anniversary. But I'm so glad I got this done. As you can see my list of my Disney's One Saturday Morning Shows. So, if you watched Disney's One Saturday Morning back in the day, let me know what do you think about my list of my top five Disney's One Saturday Morning Shows list. And what are your top five favorite Disney's One Saturday Morning Shows list? Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, click on the notification bell, if you want to see any videos that I uploaded and I catch you guys probably tomorrow for one or two rants. Don't follow your dreams, chase them. Peace. Happy 21st anniversary to Disney's One Saturday Morning.
five hours of summer, once a week, one Saturday morning,